Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The DRDO's Netra AWNC is a shining example of an excellent engineering by DRDO. The airborne early warning platform proved its metal first during the Balakot strike. The aircraft flying within the Indian airspace has provided surveillance as well as radar coverage for Indian mirages for the non-military preemptive action. It acted as the operational brain guiding mirages towards Balakot, which is 80 km from LOC. Two Netra AWNC Mark 1s were earlier delivered to Indian Air Force in the year of 2017 and 2019 respectively. The third Netra AWNC was delivered to Indian Air Force in the year 2023 and has some features upgraded than the earlier version of Netra and therefore it is being called as Netra AWNC Mark 1A. Now the Indian Air Force is progressing a case for six more improved Netra AWNC Mark 1A. These airborne early bonding platforms will include improved and upgraded human mission interface, data links and mission suite. Several imported systems used in Mark 1 will also be replaced in Mark 1A which will include the ground-based data links, ground-based and airborne terminals, electronic intelligence and radar warning receivers. Once this project is sanctioned by Ministry of Defense and DRDO start getting the fund, the deliveries of the new AWNC Mark 1A can be completed within 5 years as it will be based on the same executive jet platform which is Embraer 145. Now in order to further boost the aerial surveillance and combat capability of Indian Air Force, the Cabinet Committee on Security in September 2021 has approved the project to build six airborne early warning and control aircraft at a cost of rupees. 10,990 crore. The new airborne platform is called AWNC Mark II. It will be developed on the pre-owned Airbus A321 aircraft from Air India, which is a bigger and more powerful aircraft than Embraer 145. The bigger platform has its own advantage such as higher service ceiling, mission duration and more power which in turn allow integration of more powerful electronic warfare components such as radars. The aircraft will have operating altitude of 30,000 feet, endurance of more than 6 hours with 45 minutes of reserve fuel. The AWNC will feature gallium nitride based primary and secondary radars, while Nitra Mark 1 has coverage of 240 degrees, Mark 2 will have coverage of 300 degrees. The primary radar of AWNC Mark II will be a four-dimensional AESA multi-mode radar which can operate in air-to-air -air and air-to-sea mode and consists of two radars operating in S-band and X-band respectively. Its primary radar will be like the dorsal system of Nitra Mark I and will have two active antenna array unit assembled back to back and mounted on the top of the fuselage providing the coverage of 240 degrees. The second AS radar is placed at the nose cone of the aircraft providing a coverage of plus minus 30 degrees in azimuth. Both radars will also be integrated with IFF system. The other improvements planned in AWNC Mark II are self-protection suite which will feature dual color missile approach warning system. It will incorporate SATCOM, data link, identification of friend and foe system, electronic countermeasure system, self-protection suite, chaff dispenser and dual auxiliary power unit. Its data link will have better data transfer capabilities. The number of operators which will be on board AWNC Mark II will be double of the Mark I. The Mark II systems will have enhanced communication technologies catering for higher data rates and 
encryption capabilities and integration with integrated air command and control system that is IACCS The IACCS is an automated air defense command and control center for controlling and monitoring the air operation by the Indian Air Force The integration of sensors and avionics on the first A321 test bed has already started during Air India show 2023 as per our interaction with DRD officials The delivery of AWNC Mark II will commence from 2025 onwards and all 6 Mark II AWNC will be delivered by the year 2028. On 7th January 2024, the defense reporter Anand Krishnan has reported that tenders are out for selection of development come production partner that is DCPP. Once DRDO starts the delivery of the systems the selected delivery com production partner will be single point of contact for the user drdo will also transfer the know how on development integration and testing as well as maintenance to the dcpp the dcpp is for the mission system development and task modification of aircraft is with airbus after the modifications are complete the aircraft will again come back to drdo for further integration of the systems this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector